Welcome me and Luna and I'm your presenter for today. The, our topic for today is about the harvest by Loretta Paris Sue. She's born on December 10, 1908 at Ermita, Manila, Philippine Islands. Died on April 23, 2008 at the age of 99 nine years old. Occupation is a writer, nationality is a Filipino, and their genre is a short story. Parasulit was born in Armitha, Manila. After finishing her secondary education in Manila, she entered the University of the Philippines where she first gained notice for her short fiction. While at the university, she co-founded the UP Writers Club in 1927 along with other student writers such as Arturo Rotor and Jose Garcia Villa. She graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in Education Magna Cum Laude in 1930. Para Sulit would join the faculty of Florentino Torres High School as an English teacher while maintaining an active writing career. She was a member of the Philippine Writers Association and the Literacy Guild of the Philippines. In the 1940s, she joined the Philippine National Red Cross, of which she served as Secretary General of several decades. While at Red Cross, she shifted her focus to short story for children, publishing several works of that variety at the Philippine Junior Red Cross magazine. She retired from the public after retiring from the Red Cross, dying in April 2008 at her at the age of 99. Parasulit was considered at her productive peak during the period from 1927 to 1937. Her contemporary at the University of the Philippines, Jose Garcia Villa, was an admirer of her works and included several of her short stories in annual honor roll of short fiction. The novelist Juan Laya extolled her in 1951 as one of the few remaining great pioneers of the Philippine literature in English. Many of her stories unsurpassed in these days in sensitivity and depth of feeling. by Loretta Parasuri. Vidal and Fabian were taking play talks in the late afternoon sun. When they were harvesting, they talked about five carabaos wherein Vidal must marry Milia. It was because of their need of carabao for plowing the fields while they were talking not exactly young beautiful girl came named Miss Francia. After chatting, the brothers went to work again until sunset. On their way home, Vidal saw a, mo a moth and paused to catch it but then his brother crashed the moth in no time. Vidal asked, why are you that way? Fabian replied, what is my way? The way destroying things that are be beautiful like moths. Vidal answered, Things that are beautiful have a way of hurting. I destroy it. When I feel a hurt, Fabian explained. While eating dinner, Tina did not join them if she not cannot leave her baby and her daughter training was playing cyclot in a corner all by herself. Fabian keeps on telling that Vidal must marry Milia so that they could have a five for their re reply, Vidal said that he will go with Miss Francia to the city to work. Next day, Fabian went to Miss Francia's place. He told that his brother will have a child with Melia, so his brother may not go to the city with her. Miss Francia asked Fabian to her model to finish his work. When Fabian went home, he saw his brother and wife talking. 
We heard that Vidal has already accepted to marry Milia. Vidal watched his brother cleansing his face and arms later. Wondered why it took his brother too long to wash his arms. Why he was rubbing them as hard as that. Characters of the story. First, we have Fabian, elder brother of Vidal and husband of Kinai. Second, we have Vidal, younger brother of Fabian and model of Miss Francia. Third, we have Miss Francia, cousin of the master and the girl who catch the attention of Fabian and Vidal. Fourth, we have Milia, a girl who belongs to a family with five carabaos. Fifth, we have Tinai, wife of Fabian. Sixth, we have Trini, daughter of Fabian and Tinay. And lastly, we have the master, owner of the farm. Lot of the story. In the late afternoon sun, Fabian and Vidal were harvesting barley stalks under the master's rice field. Miss Francia went to Rice Field and bade Vidal as her model for the statue that she will be working on. Miss Francia will be leaving in two days. She wanted Vidal to go with her, where she would finish the figures she was working on. But Fabian told Miss Francia that Vidal couldn't go with her because he's going to marry Milia, a girl who belonged to a family with five carabaos. The statue isn't finished yet. Arms are still incomplete and Miss Francia have to finish it before she leaves. So, she decided to make Fabian as a substitute of Vidal to complete her statue. When Fabian returned, Vidal was at Batalan brooding over a crumpled 20 peso bill in his hand. Vidal watched his brother cleansing his face and arms, later wondered why it took so long his brother to wash his arms, why he was rubbing them as hard as that. The end of the story depends on the reader's perception. Theme of the story The short story is about the envious brother, Fabian. Due to Fabian's envy to his brother, he even manipulated his own brother's life to the point that he even talked to Miss Francia that his brother will have a child by accident so that she would cancel the work offered to his brother. 